Hey guys, how you doing today? We're gonna hit the trail. Testing out the zero shoes today. We'll get some video and we'll see how these are doing out on the actual trail. We're gonna do a tabletop review of the Zero Shoes Terraflex and compare them to my Vibram Five Fingers. I've been doing minimal shoes at least on personal time for the last three or four years now. This is my first time trying out the Terraflex, which allows me actually a lot more time to wear due to the enclosed toe versus each individual toe. So both shoes came in so a we'll pretty basic box. They had stuffing in. The one nice thing that Zero Shoes also does is they come with an information pamphlet it's got some different information on different subpages of their website, as well as a note from the founders. When people transition to barefoot, a lot of people just rush right into it. It's nice that a company like Zero Shoes provides you additional resources and information to help you with that transition. Uh, I myself, just like the other stereotype, when I first got these, I went out and tried to do long walks and runs in them and then my calf hurt so bad that I had to wear eight inch boots tied all the way to the top just to be able to walk properly it was that sore so if you guys decide to get into uh, barefoot minimalist shoes make sure you take your time practice walking in them go short distance build up the endurance so that you don't injure yourself but I do recommend trying them out, especially the zero shoes here. These have been even more comfortable than these guys, especially because my feet don't get wet. That's one of the big things for me is I hate having wet feet. So we'll I'm start with the basic construction. We'll start with the simpler one. So the five fingers is the sole and then their fabric up here, which is mostly more of like a spandex, including between the toes. It has a pull string with a clip to tighten, but this is the only tightening portion. On our Terraflex, we have a sole as well. This is their patented sole. We have our fabric upper with a mesh for breathability, but then it's actually a structured material here. Feels more like a leather material and then a rubber cap on the toe. This has full lace set, so you can tie it a lot more adjustable than just the pull string. The other nice thing that they have though is they have the sandal tightening straps that they use for their sandals. There's one here at the front, one towards the opening that actually connects around the back of the heel. So when you cinch these up on your feet, you're pulling in here, here, and back here, but you're leaving the toes free to move. And you still have able to take advantage of that wide toe box. Let's do a size comparison. So the five fingers do look a little bit wider, but not too much. So I've been testing. Let's take a look on the inside. This is the inside of the Vibram sole. I don't know why, but they choose to do yellow and light colors inside of theirs. You can tell it's pretty grody. There's no detachable insole. It's the ceiling, ceiling material straight down onto the sole. The Terraflex, they at least have a dark color inside, at least as an option. These do have a removal insole. It's not very thick, so it's not taking away from that minimalist feel. But then they have another fabric liner that you can wear if you don't want to do any insole. They also do have an up upgrade option. They have another insole that you can put in that's a little bit thicker and a little more durable. Let's compare the bottoms, the tread patterns. So in this case, they're both, the two that I picked here are both for trail running. This one has a closer pattern, but large lugs still. Whereas the Zero Shoes has a spread out pattern 
with even larger lugs. And on the trails, I felt these make a bigger difference than these guys here. These hooked on and, and the space in here allowed it to grab around the surface as I was running on gravel and small rocks. So I've been testing these out for the past month. Uh, I kept track of specific notes for the first couple of days while I was still trying to get comfortable in them. Uh, the first day, I, actually the first few days, I wore them for a security job. Uh, 12 hour shift the first night. I ended up with a sore ball of my right foot. And the hardest part uh, starting out was getting them at the right snuggest without pressure on the top of the foot. The second night, it was a 10 hour shift. I still had a little bit of soreness to my feet. It was more like a fatigue though, not like injury sore. Still was fighting with finding the right fit to get the proper snugness. On day three, I had an eight hour shift. The difficulty then I found was still trying to get the proper tightness, but because this has a traditional uh, tongue, I kept having the tongue roll over when I was putting them on, which actually made it kind of hurt. By day three, I was doing a little better with finding the right tension level so that it was snug but didn't hurt. I still had a couple sore spots by the end of the night. Uh, the fourth day wearing them was just a regular eight hour shift. The fit was a lot easier to get on, but I still had trouble with that tongue roll over inside. It was just when I was putting it on and then I'd have to fight uh, with my fingertip to try to get it unrolled because each time I took my foot out and put it back in, it was still doing the same roll. With my right foot by the end of that night, I was still having a little bit of pressure and soreness on the right ball. And then also not used to wearing a barefoot shoe for this length of time. I was only wearing these for personal time, occasional hikes, but not 8, 10, 12 hours. It was actually making my Achilles a little bit sore from walking more of the minimal style. On the fifth day, I had another eight hour shift. There was almost no fit issue other than the tongue. I got them pretty snug right away without too much issue of tie it up. Oh, it kind of hurts a little bit. Let's untie it and do it over again. Both feet still felt a little fatigued by the end of shift. On a day six, did one more eight hour shift. The fit was getting better, but I still didn't have it down perfect. The tongue did roll over on me again, but for more testing use, I actually got to be out in the rain and snow. They kept my feet surprisingly warm for being such a minimal shoe. There's a lot more substance to these shoes than these. The other nice thing though is the Terraflex is sealed at the front versus the five fingers with just a little bit of spandex in the middle. When I wore these in the rain, or if I got snow, it would just come right inside and go immediately to my foot. Even just regular puddles, because they're split all the way down to here on the back. So I, got, I tested these out doing a few tactical drills at the range. It's a move and shoot, as well as some lay down shoot. Uh, unlike boots being they're so lightweight, it was a lot easier to get in the prone position and get my feet into a comfortable spot while I was shooting. During the walking tactical portion, having the lightweight shoes actually made it a lot easier and I felt uh, more nimble on my feet as I moved towards the target. Alright, let's talk about hiking. So I did a trail run, I've done the same trail with both sets of shoes. The nice thing about these was I did a little colder weather with these and it was nice warm weather with these guys. So they kept my feet warm until I warmed up from the physical activity. 
uh, regular hiking pace. They were very comfortable on the feet. Uh, on the bottom, I felt a little bit of slight pressure here and there from some of the rocks or roots that I stepped over. But it wasn't anything painful. Uh, when I did some trail running, there was a, quite a bit more pressure. But it stopped just before the point of where, oh, this kind of hurts my foot. It was just before that mild discomfort if I was to land on that repeatedly. But it protected my foot as the minimalist should uh, as the minimalist shoe should uh, I was hiking in a lot of rock area and I did stub my toe as you can see in here there's quite a bit of scuffing right now with these same shoes I've done it before as well both shoes it does hurt quite a bit when you stub it's almost like being barefoot I'm going to continue wearing these guys. If there's any other updates, I'll do an update video. Or once I start trying out some of the other models from Zero Shoes, I'll also do a review on those as well. And we'll do a three-way comparison or however many shoes that I have at the time. Trail. Thank you. Have a great day. Take care. Be safe out there.